Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivani with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up a mail rule so that it will capture all your, you know, uh, payment receipts, confirmation receipts that come into your mail. It's a really convenient way and it, happen, and it happens automatically so you don't have to worry about it. So definitely stay tuned and check it out. Okay, so here we are in my uh, mail application. And um, here we, I've, I've, I've done some videos before about smart mailboxes and smart rules in mail, but I just kind of want to kind of, you know, home in on a particular type of rule that may be useful for uh, many uh, users of, you know, Mac users, particularly if you're not really using, uh, you know, Mac rules and Mac smart smart mailboxes. Okay, so in this particular one here, I'm gonna show you how to create a rule that will capture all your, you know, receipt emails, okay? And so, there's a, there's, there's a couple ways you can set it up, but here's one of the ways that I recommend uh, doing so. Now, this particular folder here is a, is a mailbox folder that I set up, and it is um, a part of my iCloud folder. You have different types of places you can put your folders. You can put them in iCloud, you can put them on your Mac as well, and you can also have what's called smart mailboxes. And so you can go check out that video about smart mailboxes as well. All right, so basically when a receipt comes into um, you know my inbox, this particular receipt gets copied to this particular folder. And there's a reason why I have it copied rather than moved, all right? Because I, I definitely, when it comes into my mailbox, I, in my inbox, I definitely want to see that it's arrived, right? And um, then if I see that it's arrived, I can delete it in the inbox because I already know that a copy of it has been put into this particular folder right here, right? And so it will do is it will just capture all those and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. It does it automatically, all right? So in order to set this up, Basically, what you want to do is you want to go to your iCloud section here, or you can put it on your Mac section. If you put it on your iCloud section, that means that it will be, these folders will be available on all your, um, you know, uh, de Apple devices, iCloud devices, and that kind of thing. So on your iPhone, iPad, that kind of thing, on your other computers, uh, other Macs. And so then what you want to do is click the, the plus button here, and you want to give you know, it a, a, a name here. And, um, so call it receipts or what have you. I'm not going to do it. I've already have it. But, you know, you do that. And so what you're doing is you're creating a new, uh, it will be a new empty mailbox. All right. And then next, what you're going to do is you're going to pull up preferences and, uh, you know, this mail preferences here. And you're going to create a rule. Now, I've already created that rule as well, but I'm going to show you how to set it up here. Where is it at? Okay, here it is right here. Um, and so basically, you're going to create a new, you're going to add a new rule. And I've already did it. So I'm going to push um, edit here. Right. And here's the key to this thing. So basically, you're going to put you're going to use this right here, any here. And basically, you're going to do from contains, and you want to choose some of your uh, like previous you know, receipts that you get, say, from Apple or Amazon or whoever you regularly get receipts from, you definitely want to make sure that you copy and paste um, that that email address into the, uh, the from rule here, right? And then another rule that you can add is the message content contains pay, the words payment receipt, right? And that's, you know, that'll capture more of those. And also, um, the message content, let's put it, go down here, say message content. The message content contains order confirmation. And then, you know, you can add other ones by clicking this plus button here. In any other kinds of, um, you know, language that you see popping up in an, an email that, um, that pretty much signals that it's a receipt, okay? Usually these two things right here, these two keywords here, usually should be enough. But if, again, if you want to make sure that you get some specific emails that are saved or, or copied, um, you know, definitely add those in there as well. 
then you're going to go down and says perform the following actions. So you want to, you know, you can use move too if you want. Uh, I prefer again to move to, to do copy and then you're going to go in and have it, um, you know, select the, your receipts folder so it can have it copied to the receipts folder right there. And that's pretty much how you do it. Then you're going to go here. Now, this is going to pop up when you click OK. You want to go ahead and basically if you if you click this button here, that means that it will, will apply any existing emails that follow that particular rule, right? So you can do that or you can say don't reply and it, then it won't move or it won't copy any existing emails that have that follow that rule. So it's up to you on that um, to do it. So um, and all let me say so there you go and it's set up there and so we can kind of test it out. Let me show you here. All right, so I'm gonna do a test email and then I'm gonna put order confirmation. Right, and we're gonna send this email to myself. And you see that it showed up right there and it showed up in that folder because uh, it was copied to it and I also I, I have it over here. So here what I can do is I can delete this email there, right? And I still, if I go down here, I still have it right there in that folder for me to use whenever I need it. So that's how you set that up. And uh, I hope that I hope you found that useful. You can do it for all kinds of rules. And I'm also going to do another video about how, why I'm using SaneBox along with my mail rules. So be looking forward to that particular uh, video coming soon as well. So I hope you uh, like this. If you're a new, if you're a new watcher, if you're new to, to watching my videos, definitely subscribe. And if you like this particular video, please give me hit that like button below. And if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.